and that we could do tonight a, a guided meditation and really, really emphasizing what it is that we're doing in this course. Because remember, I've been titling it, Peace is Your True Nature. And, and it is our true nature. Peace is always here. But we don't always experience it because of the ways that our mind is always wandering, the way that our mind is racing out into the future, pushing back on the past, comparing, judging, narrating. Um, all of these ways that we get lost in our thoughts that prevent us from knowing that peace that is always there. But that does not mean that we don't experience emotions, that we don't have ups and downs, that we don't have periods where it's like, oh, it's a little rushed. I got to kind of move on, move along a little bit faster. Things are changing. Uh, I've got to be somewhere. So we, you know, maybe feel a little, uh, even a little stress, a little anxiety around it. Like that's okay. Like little bits and little bursts is perfectly normal. Or to even feel disappointment about something. Of course, we always want to try and keep our expectations low because that helps with the expectations. Um, but sometimes we do. We get that little, you know, that punch in the gut of disappointment. But it is for us to, to not resist also when we're feeling, uh, you know, we're kind of rushing around a little bit where, uh, and we feel a little bit of butterflies in our stomach or just a little bit more anxiety, or we're feeling a little bit of that disappointment. And then the mind wants to chase back to, I want to feel good again. I want to feel the peace again. Like I should be back there. And, and all we're doing is still the same mind movement of resisting what it is that's arising, chasing what we want on the other side. And so to be mindful as well that this isn't about uh, turning into robots. It's not about we're not going to experience emotions or feelings or highs or lows. Like, of course we're going to. We're humans. We're in these bodies. <laughs> it's about smoothing out the ups and downs, recognizing when we're adding in suffering, uh, prolonging it through these mind movements, um, but also really recognizing that we are going to have times of, of just low energy or we're feeling tired or you didn't sleep well the night before, to not resist that either. Just because you're on a spiritual path does not mean you don't experience unpleasant emotions or feelings. It is a normal part of it. And I bring this up because I think all too often on the spiritual path, we tend to think it's all just you know, rainbows and puppy dogs and everything's just happy, happy. And, and it is a lot more like that, absolutely. There's a lot less suffering on this path. But we still experience emotions and we want to experience emotions. We want to experience life. You know, you wouldn't go to a movie that nothing happened. Right? You want to see something happen to the main character. You want to see something. And it's the same way in our lives. We do still want to experience the world. We're here to experience life. And that means we do still have emotions. So if we're feeling a little down, feeling a little sad, or you're feeling a little anxious, recognize that. Of course, recognize if you're if it's just a thought created uh, state. And of course, you know, let go of the thoughts, come into what you're feeling. But just recognize again, it's just oh, this is just a normal part of a human experience. Things are a little chaotic right now, and don't push back on it, and just be okay with it. And it'll still feel a little, a little unpleasant, a little uncomfortable, but it's still actually peaceful. You can still access that peace if you don't push back on it. If you don't tell yourself this shouldn't be happening. And I think when we expect it to happen as well, I think we're, we're better prepared for it when it does happen. We have all had a range of emotions in the last 24 hours a range. And that is normal for us. Don't resist the normal, um, the normal swings that we feel throughout the day. Just learning how to be with it. Recognize if it is a mind movement chasing the good feeling that you had in the morning, the high energy. Ah, that's what's happening. Or recognize if you're resisting the low energy that you're feeling at that moment. Ah, re 
resisting and just practice being okay with it. And what you'll find is it's just a little bit uncomfortable, just a little bit uncomfortable. But remember as well, when we have that good energy and everything's really flowing and we're feeling really great, it wouldn't have as much meaning if we didn't have those days when we had low energy, when we weren't really feeling our best, right? If we've been sick for a few days and then you're, you're back, you feel better. It's like, oh my God, I forgot <laughs> just how good it feels to have my energy again, to not have the sore throat, right? It's the contrast. We still want the contrast and we will still get the contrast regardless if you want it or not. You are going to get the contrast. But what we are talking about here predominantly is the self-created suffering where we are creating unpleasant conditions for ourselves through our thoughts, through our mind movements and being more mindful of what's happening and recognizing that to allow ourselves to be more present with whatever it is that's arising. And when we are, we still access that peace. It's there if we're not resisting what's happening. So for our meditation, and we'll do just a 20 minute guided meditation and we'll, um, it'll be a little contemplation in there. I might just throw in some words. We'll do the deep breathing. Uh, we won't do the body scan just because I'll leave a little bit of room for us for the contemplation. We will do the self-inquiry questions and, uh, and then using the breath as our focal point. Then uh, I will just, just kind of throw in some words every now and then. I don't know what they're going to be yet. I'm assuming something will come. And then uh, just to help point you uh, back to remembering the path is not about not feeling emotions that we do still want to experience. We want to experience the world. We want to experience what it's like to be a human. We are humans. After all, we should experience that. So, okay, let's get comfortable. Just make any adjustments you need to make. Close your eyes. And we'll start with some deep breathing in and out through your nose. So really opening up your abdomen on the inhale, your chest, your shoulders. Maybe taking a slight pause. And as you exhale, letting your whole body relax, letting everything go. And a little pause at the bottom. And another big inhale, really filling up, getting all that fresh oxygen up to your brain. And a long, slow exhale. And one more really big inhale. Your biggest one yet. And let everything go on the exhale. Let it all melt away. Feel the release on the exhale. And then allow your breath to be natural. Just letting it find its rhythm. Trusting that it knows. And now bring your attention to the rise and fall of your chest. And ask yourself, what is it 
that you want more than anything else in the world for yourself. And now ask yourself, what small change could you make in your daily routine that would move you closer to what it is you most want? And now let that fade away. And you can keep your attention on your breath at your chest or your abdomen or at the tip of your nostrils, wherever you feel most comfortable. Allowing the breath to be an anchor for your mind, a place for your mind to rest. And when you notice your mind has wandered off, because it will, just gently bring your attention back to the breath, back to the peace and the stillness of the breath. And you might notice that when your attention, your mind wanders off of a thought, there's a slight constriction in your torso, a tightening. And that when you bring your attention back, to your breath, that tightening then relaxes. I 
our thoughts always bring a little bit of tightening or a lot of tightening. But there is always a little bit of tension associated with our thoughts. And as we go about our day, we feel this tightening a lot. Sometimes it's in response to something that's happening. Sometimes it's in response to a thought. Maybe our energy is a little bit low. And then our thoughts come in, resisting the state, adding more weight. Giving us a heavier burden to carry. But it is perfectly normal to have our energy change throughout the day. Whether we are spiritual practitioners or not, our energy changes. But we don't expect it. even though the evidence would suggest it's been happening our whole lives. When it happens, we resist. We tell ourselves it shouldn't be happening. instead of accepting this normal condition. Not making our load any heavier by accepting it, by not pushing back on it. Experiencing emotions is a normal part of being a human. And in our mindfulness practice, we are trying to be more discerning of our experience to understand when we are creating suffering with our thoughts? And if so, to identify the mind movement 
the chasing, the resisting, the comparing or judging or narrating. And by identifying, helping us to let go of that mind movement. And to also be able to identify when it's just a normal human emotion. Maybe a memory arose and there was some sadness, someone we lost. And it's okay to experience that, to not push back on it. And there's a little bit of disappointment. And it's okay to feel that initial disappointment, to allow it to move through us. To feel a little bit of anxiety If maybe you've got to give a presentation, it's okay to feel that. I feel that before these classes. It's okay. It's just a little bit of nervous energy and it's normal. What we're trying to do is be more discerning. To be able to distinguish from the self-created suffering that is just binding us to our suffering And what are normal human emotions to be experienced? All of our emotions, our feelings, our thoughts, they're all impermanent. They arise and they pass away. There's no need to cling to any emotion, to push back on it or to chase or favor certain emotions, they'll come.
And when we're experiencing good conditions, pleasant conditions, lots of energy, joy, maybe you just got a something exciting happening to you. Enjoy it. Have gratitude. Feel it. Know what that feels like. And when it changes, you don't have to have despair. We can't stay up forever. Everything is always changing. And the more that we realize this, the more easily we rest in the center Feeling all the emotions as they arise and pass away. No grasping, no resisting. Feeling the peace that is always in the center. peace that is underlying all of these emotions that we can still experience if we are not resisting or grasping. And as we begin to come out of the meditation, with a big inhale, take your arms up over your head. With a big stretch at the top. And as you exhale, slowly lower your arms and gently open your eyes. So remembering this as we are practicing mindfulness throughout the day, uh, be discerning between the, the mind movements where we are creating suffering for ourselves or where there's just a change of emotion, a change of a feeling going on, and to notice how we're layering some mind movement on top of that, <laughs> trying to push back on it or trying to grasp it, the previous you know, the previous feeling that we were feeling earlier in the day. Because it just adds an extra weight that we don't need. And and it is just important for us to really remember this because I do think people come to spiritual practice sometimes and they really do think it's just, oh, it's all love and light. No, we never feel anything. Again, just happiness and joy and love. And, you know, and there is a lot of that, a lot more of that. <laughs> There's no question. But we do have these little up just throughout the day. We all feel it. Most of us that are older, we all feel it, right? Just the energy drops off and you feel a little low. It's like, oh, okay, I feel a little low. That's my energy right now. Okay, no problem. You know, I've got to give a, a class. Oh, there's a little bit of butterflies there. Of course there is. That's normal. Or for those of you that teach, right? I mean, you just feel a little bit of that sometimes, right? It's like, oh, that's normal. We don't have to fight it. So about learning to be more discerning about that and more accepting of these emotions as they come and go, of, the, of just the normal everyday emotions that we should be experiencing. As human beings, we want to experience the world. We want to experience what it's like to be a human being. And we can't do that if we don't experience everything, right? So 
Okay, so we will um, next week we will do pieces not narrating. So it'll be a little. It'll just be a forty minute class total, and then again we'll be back to our regular thirty minutes, kind of like tonight's schedule. Okay, thank you all so much. Thank you.